The brother of a man killed by police today says his life should have been spared. Good evening, I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Josh Rowe. Investigators say a Whitfield County Sheriff's deputy was almost hit by a car, so two other officers shot and killed the driver. Kelsey Bagwell has that story. Kelsey. Josh Kim, this afternoon a high-speed chase ended in deadly gunfire. The brother of the man shot and killed by police doesn't want his death to define who he was. I love my brother. We've had our differences, but I'm on missing. Police say Frankie Ward's brother led deputies on a high-speed chase through Whitfield County in what was reported as a stolen vehicle. Investigators say the suspect, Brett Noblet, rammed into two patrol cars during the chase and attempted to run over one of the deputies who had gotten out of the car. One of our officers jumped what he believed to be a stolen vehicle that we had, had to look out on. Ward says the car was shared between Noblet and his girlfriend, who fought often. After an argument, this morning, he took off and his girlfriend reported their joint car stolen. Me and my brother, we've had our differences. Yeah, he might have been in the wrong. And uh, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not taking up for anybody. But I just wanted to clear up that the car wasn't stolen. The chase ended on Maddox Mill Road. At one point, the uh, suspect came to a stop. Our officer, one of the officers had exited the vehicle. The suspect then made a attempt to run over one of our officers where he, at that point, discharged his firearm. Police say he tried to run from officers because he had outstanding warrants. Ward is now left with only the memory of his brother, while the investigation into his death continues. That's really all I got. The sheriff's office contacted the Georgia Bureau of Investigation to assist, which is standard protocol. The two officers that fired their weapons have been placed on paid administrative leave during the investigation. Josh. Kelsey, thank you. It's now up to investigators to determine whether the officer's deadly force was justified.